Hello, Lewis, Yolanda, Yolanda Lewis. What's going on, guys? This is David Mulligan with Realty World C Bad News First. So I thought I'd send you guys a video, maybe easier while you're on vacation. Um, definitely wanted to go over and provide you guys with some very, very important information. Um, I think it's important whenever making a decision that you have accurate information um, to make a decision. Um, so with that being said, um, in terms of uh, potentially purchasing a property, current market values, construction materials, all kinds of stuff, I just wanna give you some information and let you see firsthand what I would want to show you. So for starters, I know that you guys consider me because you guys have known me for a long time, but uh, I wanna show you guys some stuff. So I'm gonna turn this camera around. I know that you guys considered me um, because you guys knew me from the past, but if I didn't know you and you contacted me, um, it'd be important that you guys kind of knew this information about me. So there's 21,000 agents in Southwest Florida, 21,000. Um, last year, last year in Lehigh Acres, sorry, last year in Lehigh Acres, let me look at the screen right here. Submit this out of 21,000 licensed agents. 21,000. I was number seven out of 21,000. Um, uh, close 63 transactions, over seven million in sales, almost three quarters of the market. Uh, one percent, uh, almost three quarters of one percent of the market. Um, currently, this year. In Lehigh Acres, out of 21,000 agents, 21,000, that's a lot of people. Um, I'm currently rated number nine. I make up 0 0.65, 0 0.61, almost 1% of the total market, guys. That's crazy. Like, in terms of knowledge and education, um, I would explain that to someone, like, when they were going to work with me and they didn't know me, like, hey, does this guy know what he's talking about? Does he know real estate? Is he just a salesman? Like, no. I am very well. Um, I am very well seasoned, and um, probably one of the best, if not in the top of the best, um, advisors for making a decision on purchasing a property. You guys. So I'm going to show you some other stuff. Um, but that's my agent report. Kind of lets you know in terms of you know, like if you're going to go and buy a car, you want to make sure that you're going to someone that knows about cars. And if you guys are gonna, you know, go somewhere to eat, you're gonna look up and see what people have to say about a restaurant. So it's kind of relative in terms of, you know, when it comes to real estate and the Lehigh Acres market, I just want you guys to know that I really do know what I'm talking about. I'm very well versed. Um, I know all the local builders right now, Jay Dong, DR Horton, uh, Miranda, um, Dasani, K's Homes, JRR, even the smaller builders like the one on Homestead, Allen with the cross eye. Um, I know them all. Uh, inventory is about to come to a halt. Um, JR Dong's first models are going to probably hit in October. JRR has inventory coming up in November. Allen has inventory in December. Rob Baggins still has inventory. You've seen that home. That was the half acre on Monroe. They sold one of them, but they still have one left. Um, but aside from that build, um, this is the only builder, uh, well, you know, I'm trying to think who else D um, DR Horton does have some inventory coming up in July and August. That is new construction. Um, DR Horton is a little bit different of a product, um, versus tile throughout. You get carpet in the bedrooms instead of granite countertops, you get for mica countertops instead of dimensional shingles on the roof, you get single tabs. So um, it's definitely a different quality in terms of the material products that are used, um, which I know Lewis was talking about when it was a concern. Um, definitely materials are an important factor to the value of the construction. But there's some stuff that you guys should know. Worked really, really hard to find a property that was unique. And I want you guys to know how unique that property really is. Um, so I pulled up some information that you guys should know. In Lehigh Acres, these are, this is all kinds of fun stuff. So in Lehigh Acres right now, if you're looking for a house and well, they're actually, um, this is currently active. We'll go back to that. Cause that's important too. It's currently in the market. So if you were in Lehigh Acres in the last 360, um, in, in the last 360, uh, in the last year, right? 
there has been 536 sales of homes built between 2018 and up. So new construction basically in the last year have been 536 matches. So they sold 536 homes in Lehigh Acres, okay? I want you guys to see something. Do you know how many were on an acre? New construction? One. Let me show you what it sold for. So a little bit different of a model. It's a five bedroom, three bath, 2,200 square feet. But it was on an acre and it sold for 370,000 on 32521 last month. So out of 551 new construction homes in Lehigh Acres, there was one on an acre. So when I say that I looked through all the builders inventory and found a house where you could buy the lot next door and potentially purchase a new construction home on a one acre, you guys have to understand how unique that is to have that. I just wanted you to know that. Then market values, which is really important. So right now, existing homes are selling for more than new construction. Um, I'm gonna show you a listing. This is something that I listed two days ago. It is a wood frame house that is a thousand square foot, okay? Wood frame, a um, thousand square foot. It's a three, two. So right here, 1144. It's a, I listed it for 170. Um, it's a three, two, 1996 built. This is the house right here. No garage, <laughs> not even a paved driveway, just a, just a path. At, at 170 and I want you guys to see that within two days this is the the seller this is the buyer I have a contract for two hundred thousand um, dollars that is cash so I want you guys to understand what that means inventory is so limited that a hundred and seventy thousand dollar wood frame house that's a thousand square foot like you guys have to understand, it doesn't even have a garage. Is now under contract for two hundred thousand dollars at one hundred and ninety-two dollars a square foot. That is insane, um, insane in terms of the resale market. So you are paying more for a house that has an old roof, an old AC, an old water heater, old appliances, like brand new construction. Everything is new. So when you buy a house, you guys have to consider deferred costs and how much things cost to replace. A water heater, 600 bucks. An AC, $4,000. Redo the roof, eight grand. So these are things that you have to take into consideration. Um, some other stuff that you guys should know besides the market. Right now, what's currently active in the resale market? Um, uh, this is another property I was looking at. So um, right here. Um, anything that you're looking for that's currently coming on the market as we speak, for example, um, this is a 3-2, 1,900 square feet for $210,000, $210,000. This is on Long Lines, which is right over there by a whole bunch of people. It's in the main community of by where that golf course is. This just came on the market today. Um, this is the resale market. It's a 2001. It's the original roof, 19 year old roof. Like instantly on a 2000 square foot house, you're looking at like a $12,000 roof. They want 210 for that. You know what I mean? House was built in 2001, everything was older. This just came on the market today, zero days on market. The reason why I'm explaining this to you guys is because there's a lot of things going on with you guys. Um, Interest rates in the last two months have gone up a point. That's going to continue to go up. So, you know, the probability of saying, well, the market's going to crash or 12 months from now, I'm going to be able to buy a house for so much cheaper. If interest rates are four or five or six percent, they're already up to about three and a half to four. Um, they were at two and a half two months ago. Um, they hit four and a half five. That's the difference on a two hundred thousand dollar home of four hundred to six hundred dollars a month. So a $200,000 home would have an $1,800 to a $2,000 mortgage. You, you have to understand interest rates 
are more important and why there's such limited inventory in our market than ever before is because people know what's coming. It's not a inf an inflation where the market's going to crash. The market may adjust, but what's going to happen is interest rates are going to grow, so your monthly payments will go higher. Um, some other stuff. Uh, Ray Stevens, uh, accredited lender, contacted me, uh, reached out and said that he had spoken to you guys um, in terms of purchasing a home. He did not understand how you guys were qualified. Um, every loan lender has a little bit different of an ability. Um, so uh, his idea was to get a denial letter for 245, but he says he can qualify you for 235. $10,000 difference is like $40 a month. So that's interesting. But um, needless to say, it wasn't really sure if he was approaching it the way that Antonio and George were approaching it. Because what's really important is, is that you don't put a big down payment down. What's important is for you to pay off that car because that's a $500 a month payment and that affects your monthly bills to where, you know what I mean? If you're paying $1,000 a month for rent, guys, and you're paying $500 a month for the truck, if you got rid of the truck, you have a $1,500 a month payment, your bills aren't changing, you know what I mean? So like that has been something considered as too because, you know, he was going on about being house poor and stuff like that. Like I definitely don't want to see you know, some of the things he was saying to create fear I don't really agree with. You guys are currently renting now and paying a $1,000 a month for rent and that eventually will go up and it is not yours and it's not building equity and you don't own it. And the car payment is $500 a month, 500 and change. So your mortgage is gonna be less than your rent and your car payment. So if you pay that off, you're actually going to have less monthly expenses. Your electric bill is going to be less than what it is now in an existing home. So, you know, it was kind of interesting when he was saying that, but needless to say, uh, Ray Stevens is a great guy. Um, he did reach out to me, very concerned about you guys. Most of the local lenders know me. They try to work with me and talk with me. So I know he's trying to assist you guys um, saying to get a denial letter, but Antonio and George, um, they have a clean approval for you. They're great lenders and they can close your loan. Um, in terms of the escrow, uh, the, the builder isn't going to release that. So that's something why it's like really important to just before you send them a cancellation that, you know what I mean? You really consider this purchase. Obviously, if you don't want the home, you don't want the home. But I think it's important that you guys know what's in the market, what homes are really selling for in the market, um, how much of a unique property that house is. Um, in terms of the craftsmanship, Lewis, which I know was bothering you, that's a sub issue. It's not a builder issue. So I'm going to show you something. I work with all the local builders. So I sent myself an email so that you guys can see some videos of local builders that I work with because I work with them. So like, for example, I'm going to show you these, I'm going to show you guys these videos that like Jay Dom is, is a great builder, but you go to his house and like the things that Lewis is staying, like in new construction in Lehigh, there's only so many builders. DR Horton is going to, it, DR Horton is going to sell you a home with carpet and Formica. So we're not even gonna talk about that type of property um, because that's not the same type of home. Then if you go into Jay Dong, um, which is similar, granite countertops, tile, like I was walking this guy's house, this is Carlos. He bought a Jay Gadon's house, like literally on the side of the, of course the video stopped. On the side of his walls, you could see the, the corner bead, like it needed to be repaired. You know what I'm saying? And in the end of the day, on a $265,000 house, um, no light in the front. Very common um, in a Jay Don build. Jay Don, one of the premium builders in the yeah, there was no light there. And um, it's common for builders not to put in lights. Uh, got another builder that's building, JRR, which is another local builder. Um, you have to see this, Lewis. Now, this is really rough, man. Um, that's the tile for the shower overhanging the wall. Like, that's insane. Um, they do need to repair that. They are repairing that. I'm gonna close on that house. I, sh I walk the house, you have a home inspection. They, they go over things and you should have a home inspection before closing and do a final walkthrough and make sure that if there's anything wrong with the house that you fix. Um, but in terms of 
building materials, dimensional shingles, uh, argon windows, double pane. Um, that is um, what all builder and Lehigh's are using. I can assure you that. Um, there are some builders that do impact, um, but uh, most of the majority of the builders are using the same products that are in the, the house that was being built for you guys. So um, before uh, you make a decision, I mean, ultimately I can send it to them at any point. Um, there's really not gonna be an obligation, just the escrow is at risk. I just want you guys to really think about the decision that you're making. Um, it is a very unique home uh, out of a 531 houses. There was one on an acre. So, and they weren't selling it like that. I found that because I searched inventory and found um, uh, a major, um, the, the back major owner of lots that I know has a relationship with that builder that basically was able to get that so that they could strap that together. That's one. Um, two, in terms of construction cost and price, um, that's one more thing I wanted you guys to see. So like in the current market right now, if you're looking for new construction, I'm gonna show you this. This is important. Currently active in Lehigh Acres for a 1400 square foot home, 2018 and up, new construction, new last two years. Starts off and literally, um, literally 226 is your first price. That's not bad for a new construction, three, two, 1500 square feet. But you know what this is? Look at this house. This literally is an HP Floxdale. Single times, no elevation. It's like a garage with a door. No front elevation, carpet in the bedrooms. That's what you're starting off at 230. At 1500 square foot, it's a three two on a quarter acre. Then you go up to like the 245 homes. And these are, these are, um, these are the express, I'm sorry. These are the Express DR Horton homes, which are single tab roofs, carpet in the bedroom for mica countertops. They don't have stone in the bathrooms or the kitchen. Like, you know, then you get into, you know, the first regular builder that's like an owner builder, 1600 square foot, not bad. They want $260,000 for a three, two that this house isn't even concrete block. It, it, it's, it's, it's concrete block and wood frame you want $260,000 for this. It's a one car garage. Look at that house. Like, I just, I, I want you guys to be knowledgeable that that house at $245,000, over 1,800 square foot, four bedroom house on an acre with um, tile throughout, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, new roof, new AC, new water heater. Like, that wasn't even on the market, never on the MLS never advertises one acre and ultimately it's what you guys want but before you made a decision to purchase or decline on this house and i don't know where the future and interest rates um qualification is going to be um one thing that i do got want you guys to know is that um just in terms of revert reserves i know you guys got like 80 grand or something like that but it's really important for qualification that you guys, even if you do wait, um, that you have the money to pay off the, the, the car. Cause you know, as long as, you know, a lender will always qualify you guys off of your income. You know what I mean? And if you have a, that 500 car payment with your current income, like the qualification is going to be very low. Um, so having that and then the down payment and the closing costs, would all really be required for you guys to buy a house. Um, and you know, I don't know, I, I've had money before. I know how quick money can move in like a matter of a month. And um, I think this is a really great time and you guys time to own a house, um, you know, uh, and you know, just, just really wanna make sure that you guys have all the information provided to you guys very accurately about the market, values, construction material, the uniqueness of that property, the value of price per square foot in new construction. Um, what another home, like in the current market on resale, paying $40, $50 more a square foot um, at a $200,000 offer, $200,000 cash. It's like right here, I'm going to sign it. $200,000 for a thousand square foot wood frame house without even a garage, without even a driveway. You know what I mean? Like. You gotta understand where the market is. And that's because as interest rates go up, 
It's not if. They are going up. It was 2.5 in January. Now, interest rates are 3.5. That's an entire point. On a $200,000 house, that's $200 more in your monthly payment every single month. If it goes up another point, that's $400 a month. And if it goes up to five, that's another $200 a month. So you're talking about a $600 a month difference in a mortgage. That's where most people don't wind up buying because you pay too much in interest. So that's why the market is so strong. That's why inventory is so low. And this isn't speculation. This is, I'm a very well educated realtor and I know real estate and I know Lehigh Acres. And I just know that, that that is a very great property for a lot of good reasons. Um, there are things that you can do to customize a home or upgrade a home if desired. But um, before, you know, um, you know, send the paper for the builder to sign, which basically just frees them of the contract. Um, I just want to make sure that I did my best to give you guys all that information so that you guys can make a wise decision on how you want to move forward. Well, listen, I really hope you guys enjoyed your trip to um, to Boston. I uh, had my baby last week. I was really excited about that. My wife was in labor for like a week. It was a little bit crazy. Had some complications, but the baby's healthy, which is I'm very excited about. And she is here now, which is great. Uh, and if you guys want to meet, go to the property, talk this weekend. You know, ultimately, just don't want to move forward. You know, whatever direction you want to go in, just call me and talk to me. Um, but I feel, I will feel so much better knowing that I shared with you, Yolanda and Lewis, this information. So you guys, you got the power. You, like, you know, you know what market values are. You know what construction costs are. You know how unique properties are so that when you made a decision, you made an educated decision because that's my job as a realtor to give you that power. So uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful uh, trip. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys get back, okay? Take care. Bye. Realty World, David Mulligan. Gang, gang. I have another buyer. Uh, hey, Lewis, this is uh, JRR Builder. Just for you know, right here you can see, Lowy Argon Guest. Just want you to know that this is a common window for new construction. Another builder. Guys, say hi. Turn around. Hey, Alex and Alex. Hi. Hey, great buyers. Hi. Really excited. How do you feel about the builder? Be genuinely honest. I want you to know. What are your feelings about JR as a builder? This was supposed to be completed Friday. No, this Share was a couple of those. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, it was supposed to be ready. And what is your comments on the contractors? Do you feel that they did an effective job? That there was repairs? That this was done correctly? No. Be honest. No. Give it to them honest. No. Okay. On a one to ten on the construction, how much punch out is there? <laughs> we use half a roll of blue tape. Half a roll of blue tape. I want you to know, Lewis, that you are not the only one that is going through this. This is at different builders, different sites, but it is something that we are, are we getting it done? Are we fighting? We are there. Yes. We're crossing our fingers day by day, going list by list. Stay optimistic, Lewis. I will talk to you soon. Did they install a light at your front door, Carlos? Where's the light? No light, just a cap, huh? New construction 2020. Jay Dom, one of the premium builders in Lehigh. That's what he did. Hey guys, quick check in. It's been a long day today uh, putting that video together. Uh, it's 12.30 in the morning. I'm still going. Um, just a uh, cap on that, you know. Not that I'm trying to install um, a concern. I do think new construction is a great product. I'm just saying in terms of punch, uh, ceiling fan or light fixture, 20 or $40. Dollars. Um, uh, maybe in 2006, there was a boom, maybe four or five, um, maybe had a little bit different contractors. But, you know, if you're looking at, you know, minuscule punch or a light or a fixture, you can buy that at Home Depot, $30, $40, change out an outlet if you wanted to, 10 15 bucks. But, um, you know, the big ticket items when owning a home is the roof, the AC, the appliances, the water heater, um, also value of home. Um, you know, you get a home that's 15 years newer, holds a lot more value and equity. So there's a lot of key points to why um, new construction has a lot more value than an older home. 
and it's selling for less price per square foot as well, just due to the demand of inventory um, and there's, how there's no new construction. So it's really important that you guys know. Um, another thing too, I just received an email from Rob, the half acres, one lots I showed you, they just went up to 260. J, uh, Dave Dong builds are now up to 285. Um, so the fact that you had a new construction home, it's a four bedroom, for 245 just the house itself not even talking about the lot and things with that but just the house buying a four bedroom new construction house for 245 you're not going to find that the next six to eight months um when new inventory drops you're going to see a whole new price on new construction 15 20 grand more um which is very realistic um so the values are going up actively the house that i just sent the video above we got that built that buyer under contract on a three two um, for 250, uh, that's on 15th Street, and I already have a contract for 260. Um, on the next one being built, um, it's supposed to close in October. So um, the prices are actively going up. I actually uh, show you guys Rob's email, as you can see, Just kind of fully disclosing. So you guys, I really want you guys to have as much information as possible before you make your decision. But, um, so you guys can see this um, right here. I gotta turn the camera around. Uh, is that reading? Uh, just a quick update 206 were all sold. 208 is still available now on MLS about four to six weeks out. Completion is going to be on the MLS next couple of weeks. Give you the opportunity first. Still asking 250 for this one. The next set of homes listed at 260. So you guys know the, the, the value of new construction is just going up. You um, got an offer accepted um, at 245, which uh, I promise you a four bedroom that's 1800 square feet right now is probably more than 260, 270 range um, and the market coming, maybe even a little bit higher. So uh, a lot of equity in the house. Um, I don't know if there was anything else. Lots of stuff come into my mind and get to talk to you guys. Just a lot of thoughts, but that was important stuff. And kind of wanted you to know in terms of building materials, different builders that I work with. I really do work with all the local builders in Lehigh. Um, where construction prices are going, interest rates, um, all these things. Just important that you really have this information to help you guys um, make a really good decision. So. Um, I'm gonna I put this all together. It's a really long video. So I, I link them together and um, I send you a link like on YouTube or something just so you'd be able to watch it whenever you have a chance But um, pretty much all the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about and give you this information um, So I know you guys made an educated decision on um, Whether or not buying a home is something that you guys wanted to do um, At least you had that information uh, well, thanks guys again. Um, got a couple more hours here. A lot of stuff going on. Got this thing coming up in the Cape. House in Fort Myers. Um, busy day tomorrow. Saturday, um, working with two different buyers. Uh, one coming in from Virginia and another woman. She's not going to be purchasing until September. And the other one's looking in October, but they're looking at new construction now. So, showing them some models. Got some lists from the builders. Most that's why I'm aware of most of the inventory has gone up 10, 15 grand. Like I have a four bedroom that I'm showing them. J Dom's at 285. Another builder it's at 310. So um, you know the price point that you have locked in on this contract at 245 is really good. Um, and another thing to consider is if you buy six months from now, in November, December, if interest rates are pointed to higher you know qualification amount changes as well so it really knocks you um out of that bracket because to say interest rates are four and a half or five and a half on two hundred fifty thousand dollar home um one percent of interest is um one dollar of it so two hundred fifty thousand dollar home one percent higher is a two hundred and fifty dollar difference in the mortgage it doesn't make any difference in the principal it's just interest that the bank collects um that's again what has to do with why there's such a demand right now because people know interest rates are going up and everyone's trying to buy a home before they get too high so um anyway um have a wonderful evening guys talk to you soon